seen anything like this before? No, I haven't. And I have been on the board for 13 years. Nothing is widespread. That's the Republican chair of the state board that must decide on Thursday whether five Republican candidates for governor allowed phony petition signatures to be turned into the state so that they could get on the August primary ballot. Those candidates include former Detroit Police Chief James Crank, millionaire Perry Johnson, State Police Captain Mike Brown, Mike Markey, and Donna Brandenburg. The state bureau that did the review of the names determined that the candidates themselves did not know that alleged fraud was going on. In fact, the chairman of the commission says petitions were being signed by circulators who sat around a table. They were passed around a table and they could see every fourth signature or fifth signature, the same handwriting. I mean, it's, it's obvious. And so that's what we'll look, we'll look to confirm that, that the, the fraudulent uh, uh, copying of names of people was obvious. The five candidates must convince the state board on Thursday that the staff got it wrong. If they lose in that venue, they can go to the courts to try to get on the ballot. The one-time frontrunner in the Republican primary, James Craig, was inept, says this Republican consultant. It's probably the biggest collapse in the history of Michigan gubernatorial politics. The bottom line is that no other opponent in the GOP primary could beat James Craig. In the end, he beat himself. If the fraud is proven, Mr. Schinkel thinks this about the petition circulators. These people need to go to jail. History unfolding before your very eyes. This has never happened before if it's proven to be true. In Lansing, Tim Skubik, Fox 2 News. And I had the chance to talk with former DPD Chief James Craig just a short time ago to get his reaction to the news. He says even with what happened today, he's not done fighting. He says he knows exactly why this unfolded the way it did tonight. I'm the threat. And what's, you know what's sad about this? The people of Michigan should have a say on who should lead their state. Fair and square. All the shenanigans. Now, again, I'll say it. I'm practical. I can't prove anything right now, but I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to do my very best to get to the bottom of it because they wanted me out. Does this it's does this take the air out of the uh, the air out of your tires and take the wind out of your sails and you lose time here now trying to fight this right? Well, well, I'm losing time already because the people that were investing in me as a candidate when this thing first came out, people that fundraisers set up, you know, and this is exactly why it was designed to happen this way. It slows you down. Chief Craig says his campaign team plans to do an independent investigation to take a close look at how signatures were collected and whether there was any fraud.